Ikea, ABBA, H&M. Acronyms. When people think of Sweden, these tend to be the things that people think of. But if you're in the US, you might have also thought of Svedka, which is the famously Swedish vodka sold in the States. But did you know that Svedka is not sold in Sweden? That's right, one of the most popular vodkas sold in the USA is Swedish, and yet most people in Sweden don't even know that it exists. So I've been on a mission to find out why, and in doing so, I think I've uncovered more questions than answers. I've never done so much research before for a video, but I ended up in a really deep rabbit hole, and if you guys know me, I tend to get overly passionate about things that no one's talking about, stuff that probably no one cares about, <laughs> but I think you guys will find this pretty interesting. So buckle up, because we're about to try and answer the question, what the heck is going on with Svedka? So first, let me give a little bit of backstory and why all of this has come about. Last year, I made a video talking about eight Swedish foods that confused me. Mm. And in that video, I included Svedka on the list because since I was living in Sweden, that's when I had realized that Svedka was not available in the liquor store. And so that was my first time thinking like, well, what the heck? Because in the US, Svedka is really well known. And when I did my research for that video, that's where I'd found these articles saying that Svedka was in the top 10 most popular vodkas in the States. And one of their favorite things to include in every article was that Svedka was the number one imported vodka in the USA. And, you know, the bottle itself, it says imported Swedish vodka, made in Sweden, and then the Swedish flag is on the bottle. Like, they are not hiding the fact that this is a Swedish vodka. And even the name itself, Svedka, it literally stands for Swedish vodka, merged together. So not quite an acronym, but, you know. <laughs> still abbreviated in some way. Svedka is more popular than its direct competitor, Absolute, which is also a Swedish vodka. At least in the States, it's more popular because if you were to go to Sweden, then Absolute would be the most popular Swedish vodka. And that's because they don't sell Svedka in Sweden. The number one Swedish vodka in the US not sold in Sweden. In fact, most Swedish people have never even heard of Svedka. So I know this is a small sample size, but when I had asked on Instagram if people had heard of Svedka before, about 80% of you guys said you had never heard of it. And I forget how many votes that was, a couple hundred, uh, but that's enough for me to scale that up to the whole country. But after that video was posted, I got even more validation in the comments from people saying they've lived in Sweden their whole life and they've never heard of Svedka. And people who said they lived in the town where Svedka was made, which is Lidköping, they said they've lived in Lidköping their entire life and they've never heard of Svedka. So that's why it was in the list. That's why I was interested in researching Svedka, and now I'm making a video about it. <laughs> so once I really started to see how Swedish people have never heard of Svedka before, that got me interested in trying to get more answers. And so back in July of last year, I sent an email out to I ended up reaching out to Svedka Perhaps it was their parent company, which is Constellation Brands, and I'd sent them an email asking this, and this was of July 2021. Basically, I asked about the brand and its history. I also asked about where it was distilled, if they gave tours, and why it wasn't sold in Sweden if it's a Swedish vodka. Eventually, I got a response, and this is what it said. 
Thank you for contacting us and thank you for your interest in Svedka vodka. Svedka is indeed distilled in Sweden, however it is bottled in the US. For that same reason we do not have distribution for Svedka in Europe. As we also not bottle in a 700 milliliter bottle, the mandatory bottle size in Europe. I hope this answers your questions. Best regards, Taco. Now, I don't know about you, but if a guy named Taco is going to tell me something, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt for the rim of that margarita glass. So I responded with, Thanks for your response, Taco. Sorry for the delay, but I am hoping to visit the distillery if possible. I know a lot of places will offer tours, so I was wondering if I can see where it's manufactured and learn more about it. I'm fascinated that a Swedish vodka is so popular in the States. Looking forward to your reply. And Taco responded with, My pleasure, really. Unfortunately, we do not offer tours at the distillery, so I have to disappoint you. I am sorry. Thanks again for your interest in Svedka, and I hope you have a chance to enjoy it soon again. You did disappoint me, Taco. Now, when I uploaded my video about confusing foods, someone in the comments mentioned that there was a distillery in Liedköping, and they suggested that maybe that was the same vodka that was sold under a different name. So I reached out to that distillery. And long story short, they're not the same as Svedka, but they do use the same Rosprit, which I think refers to the Swedish winter wheat used in distilling. Strangely enough, Sebastian did seem to know about Svedka and what it was distilled from. And that was kind of the extent of it, which meant that the mystery of Svedka was still unsolved. At this point, I tried digging deep for clues. The amount of information available for one of the most popular vodkas sold in the USA was just bizarre. For example, let's look at their Wikipedia page. Just a few sentences about the company, including the fact that it was acquired for 384 million US dollars, followed by the time they made some spooky internet advertisements in 2017. That's it? For reference, I went to Svedka's competitors' Wikipedia pages, and they seemed much more legit. I spent hours trying to dig and find anything I could about Svedka. Their YouTube channel was bare, their social media pages were lackluster. I wasn't finding anything interesting, and I was legitimately going to take a train from Örebro to Liedköping, and I was gonna find that distillery myself and get some answers. And then, the migrations office, kicked me out of Sweden, <laughs> and all my plans fell through. So I moved back to the US and I thought that, you know, that's the end of my Svedka story for now. Maybe I'll revisit it once I move back to Sweden. But oh no, no, the plot thickened with an unexpected twist of lemon for my vodka martini. <laughs> so I get back to the States where Svedka is the number one imported vodka. And I came across a bottle of Svedka at my parents' house, and I thought, hey, I should take a picture of this and post it on Instagram. So I have a bottle of it here, and as I was getting ready to take a picture of this, that's when I saw it, or perhaps didn't see it. The Swedish flag on the bottle, gone. Imported Swedish vodka, gone. Product of Sweden, gone. All references to being a Swedish vodka have been removed from the packaging. So I've been following Svedka pretty closely during the past year, and I have been following their Instagram page. I never saw any mentioning of rebranding. This came out of the blue, and so when I went to go see their Instagram page, 
everything from before November 4th, 2021 was removed from their Instagram page. And everything since November 4th has only featured the new branding in their posts. And some comments have pointed this out saying, you know, what happened to all of the Swedish branding and why is it distilled four times instead of five? And Svedka has not responded to any of them. Believe me, I have left plenty of comments. Uh, they don't post very often, but when they do, I'll leave a comment saying, hey, why aren't you guys Swedish anymore? No one's responded. Who's managing their social media pages? Because I feel like a vodka company worth over 300 million US dollars when it was sold back in 2007, I think. It's like, you're telling me they don't have an aggressive team of marketers and social media? Like, come on. Like, I feel like every company needs a social media presence and Svedka basically doesn't have one. And when people actually want to be engaged and leave comments, they don't say anything. Remember that I sent a message to Svedka on their Instagram page back in June. They never replied. So I sent a follow-up message recently and they didn't reply either, but they actually did read it. I got the notification that like, oh, they've seen your post or they've seen your message. And then they chose not to reply. So ever since I saw the new bottle, I have been back into the research. I've been doing some really deep dive research. And let me tell you, I have not found a single article that has mentioned at all that they've rebranded. Nothing. Like, if there is an article out there, I haven't found it. But like, I have gone to the parent company's website, Constellation Brands. Constellation Brands owns Svedka. Now, Svedka has existed for over 20 years and it has always been branded as an imported Swedish vodka up until late 2021. But no one has mentioned it, not on their Instagram, not on the Svedka website. The Constellation Brands website has nothing. That blows my mind. They are a, what, like a publicly traded company where you can find lots of info about the income earned and how, you know, what are their goals moving forward with different brands. And it's like, you know, I would think rebranding Svedka would be something worth mentioning. And there's nothing. And what I just want to know is why? Well, first question, why aren't they made in Sweden anymore? Second question, why haven't they said anything about it? It's so weird. Like, what company rebrands and doesn't say anything? Ironically, while I was working on this video, I visited the liquor store and saw Absolute Bottles prominently showed that they had a new look, but same authentic taste. I didn't even know that Absolute had rebranded. Now, it's not just the branding. The product itself has changed. It used to be distilled in Sweden, made using a winter wheat. But now that it's made in the States, they're not using a Swedish winter wheat anymore. They're using, I think what I saw one article said, it was like an American corn. Like not only is the actual product distilled from a completely different grain, <laughs> but it's also distilled fewer times. You know, it's only distilled four times now instead of five. Like nothing is the same <laughs> and they haven't said anything. Like if anything, if you did put out an article about rebranding, I would actually think that would get a lot of attention and more press and that would probably be a good marketing move on their end is if they did announce that they rebranded why go quiet about it? It doesn't make sense to me. I really wish I could have found the, like an archived version of the Svedka website because 
back when I did my first video, I remember thinking, wow, this website is awful. And now they've re redone it with the new branding. It's even worse, you guys. You go to svedka.com and it is one page. This multi-million dollar company has a one page website and there's no information on it. You can sign up for a newsletter, which I have, I have not received a single email ever. I'm just thinking about how many times I've signed up for emails and they won't stop sending stuff. Svedka doesn't even start. Like I've gotten nothing, not even like a welcome email. So anyway, and then other than that, they literally just have a buy now button and then you can find where to buy Svedka. And that is it. Who's running their social media accounts? <laughs> Who's running this website? Now, I think there was a leave feedback thing, uh, which I definitely did. Oh, I have sent so many messages, you guys. I reached out to them on Facebook. I've sent them emails directly to Constellation Brands. Uh, never heard anything. I've sent a follow-up, never heard anything. All of this is to say, maybe this is the point of the video. People need to be better at social media and emails. <laughs> Mostly just Svedka, but man, and I know I mentioned this in a recent video, but just because you guys ignore me doesn't mean I'm gonna leave you guys alone. <laughs> but ignoring me doesn't stop me from being really bloody annoying. And if there isn't anything to hide, then why aren't they talking about it, you know? How can a company worth over 300 million dollars be so bad at social media and how are they still so dominant in vodka sales how does their wikipedia page have this much information you know when this whole thing started last year <laughs> i was originally just interested in the fact that a swedish vodka that was made in sweden was sold in the usa and not sold in sweden and now it's turned into a Swedish vodka that is no longer a Swedish vodka, still sold in the USA under the same name and no explanation. I wish I had a better conclusion for you guys, but all of this research has just led to dead ends. And I'm sure you guys can tell I have done a lot of research, but this is just the stuff I'm telling you guys about. There's so many other things I tried to get more information and nothing really came of it. So I hope that by making this video, maybe somebody out there is like, oh my gosh, I work at the distillery for Svedka and I will let you know where it is. That would be my best case scenario is someone out there has some sort of information. <laughs> I just want answers, you know? Aww. So until new revelations arise, the mystery of Svedka, the not Swedish, Swedish vodka, continues. <laughs> I hope this was interesting for you guys. Uh, I always get nervous about posting because I just want to do a good job and I want to make content that's interesting and entertaining at the same time. So if you did like this video, I'd appreciate if you can like, blah, subscribe. <laughs> if you did like this video, I'd appreciate if you can like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey do. Absolute. What is, what's the cool, interesting facts about this oh one? Oh my gosh, I really like this. Produced in Sweden, so it comes out of the same place as, as Svedka. Svedka. Yeah, except for it's like a, this is from the... That's the ghetto. That's the hood. This is the north side. <laughs>